What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back on the Boston Clinic and more. And um, you know, Devin Haney, you know, young um, boxing prodigy, trains with Floyd Mayweather Senior at the Mayweather Boxing Gym, and self promoted boxer. Um, is stepping up in competition. You know, he's stepping up versus um this guy from the Philippines named Harmentio Della. I think that's his name. Um, you know, Della is a uh, uh, you know, got one loss. I think he's 19-1 with 12 knockouts. He lost his last fight. But the significance about this fight for Devin Haney, that it will be on um, uh, Showbox February 2nd, live from Salon, um, Iowa. He's making his television debut. And, um, you know, he's really making a charge this year to be ranked and be in a position to be for a world title um, in the next year, I guess. And he's going to start taking on better guys with better records. Now they feel like it's the right time to step up in competition and kind of charge and uh, make their way towards a world title fight. And um, now he's stepping up. And now he, not only is he stepping up, now this is his first time being on TV, and, you know, like Showtime on a major network in front of the crowd, you know. And, um, you know, people don't know the significance of that. Everybody don't perform the same under the lights and the pressure and the camera. And we're going to see if Devin Haney has the it factor with it being a major fight, being on TV versus a solid opponent, probably the best opponent record that he has fought. Um, and the kid from the Philippines got some knockouts on his resume. So, um, you know, for people that haven't seen Devin Haney, that's why I did this video. I haven't seen a lot of them, especially in his professional fights. They got some of them with, uh, you know, basic cameras. And really want to see him outside of the Mayweather gym sparring different guys and see him versus real competition. Now it's your chance, February 2nd, Showbox, you know. And we're going to see if this kid, you know, can handle the pressure of being on TV for the first time. I expect him to do his thing. He's very talented, fast hands, good boxing ability. And, um, you know, I look forward to seeing him February 2nd, you know. And his opponent, you know, who I just said just took an L in the unanimous decision last time off. He still got a good record. 19-1-12, and 12, I believe it is. And uh, I'll leave this article link in the description. We talked about him talking junk to Ryan Garcia and that same article we put in yesterday, this is the same article, the last paragraphs, tells you that this guy's stepping up finally, Devin Haney. You know, it's no more, um, you know, beer and chicken, you know, uh, chitlin circuit boxing for him right now. And uh, if he steps up and beat this guy, good for him. I wonder, does he plan on signing with a, uh, with a major promoter? Because I haven't seen anybody come into boxing trying to self-promote themselves and get the opportunities that he can that, that they come with it. You know, most guys, you know, they start off with a promoter, learn the game, then move on up. So this is telling me that him and his dad, you know, have, has a great idea how they want to market him. And I wonder if a promoter comes in with a great deal, will they take it and let them let him be promoted? And um, I'm not sure if he's a – I just know he trains at the Mayweather Boxing Gym. He's not a Mayweather Boxing uh, you know, fighter. So, um, you know, maybe Floyd has already tried to get him, and it's just something that they don't want to do. They want to self-promote. Um, but with boxing politics, I mean, why not? You know, you can go straight to the horse's mouth, you know, negotiate championship level fights. And if you get in a championship level position, a lot of those guys will need you. And they rather, he probably rather self promote himself now, keep all the money, uh, than go to the promoter and go through the bulls crap of, oh, we don't work with them or purse business and stuff. When he can go straight to the horse's mouth, they can negotiate and make fights happen. He's trying to change the game. You know, he's trying to generate more money. From the beginning, knowing what you know, knowing what he knows now that Floyd Mayweather, Pacquiao, and all those dudes going through with their promoters and Bob Arum and all that, now he can go. Now he can just go ahead and make waves. He's trying to do the Lonzo lines on Levar thing with him and his dad, you know, independent, you know, things and trying to move up and gain respect that way. But you got to remember, you got to have the talent. You got to win because if you don't win, then you can't be self promoted. You know what I'm saying? So um, he's finally stepping up. Proud of him. Don't forget. The link's in the description. You want to donate. The tech page, you want to learn how to cut off cable. I'm going to get rid of cable, get rid of Netflix, or at least cut the bill. Holla at me there. And then the Facebook uh, page, like us there, man. Definitely appreciate it. We in the building. Um, the Boxer Clinic, a lot of great things coming. We going to.